Mr. Messer, good yes. to talk to you as always. Good to talk to you. We're going to have a quick one today. Okay. The timing of this yes. press release, with the UN General Assembly going on, and yes. you having a statement from Washington being read on this side, yes. is that significant? Well, it's, it's, it's significant in that it shows the level of interest and concern in Washington about lack of implementation of the reform process. It was not directly linked to UNGA or the Prime Minister's visit there. Right. And when Secretary Clinton was here in early August, she met with both President Kibaki and Prime Minister Odinga. She delivered a very firm message from President Obama indicating that we want to see the reform process implemented with a greater sense of urgency and uh, indicated that we would be taking actions if, if, if that was not so. Is there going to be a clear separation between Michael Weinerberger as ambassador and the statements coming from Washington? And has this been a deliberate effort in the part? Mm. Because is it going to be, this is Weinerberger speaking, this is yeah. America speaking? Is well, there a clear distinction? You, you know, when, when you're ambassador, you can never make that distinction because honestly, there's no way to differentiate the message. That's why when I'm giving a message here in Kenya, it's the message of my government government. It's not me freelancing, making it up. Right. And I think what you're seeing today is the fact that these letters come from Washington, the statement about the international financial institutions comes from Washington. These are instructions that I've been given and I'm implementing those. And my instructions are to uh, very simply to maintain pressure for implementation of reforms. If these reforms are not implemented in, 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 in great part, then this country is going to face a crisis come 2012 or before. And we don't want to see that as a friend and partner. Kenyans don't want to see that. And by the way, that's not us saying there's going to be a crisis. Every single Kenyan politician I meet with tells me there's going to be a crisis in 2012 if we don't get these things done. If reforms do move ahead, like police reform, we've signaled, I've already told the government, if you actually go ahead with police reform, we'll be by your side with millions of dollars of support. So, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're being tough, but we're also being constructive. You can't have, this country is not going to have economic prosperity and deal with the terrible poverty letters, uh, poverty uh, issues, unless uh, political reforms are achieved. Because if you don't have those political reforms, you're not going to have the stability to achieve economic growth. So it's all linked together. And uh, so we're, we're unapologetic about our insistence uh, that the reforms be carried out. And uh, I have no doubt whatsoever that that would be the message uh, of, the, of the president and the rest of the U.S. government leadership. Well, it's great to speak to you. Thanks a lot. Thank Speak you. to you again soon. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you.